she was a sailing boat at the very beginning. She was quite light, about 12 tons. Now she's 35 tons because we have a lot of equipment inside. Energy Observer, at the very beginning, it was just um, a laboratory vessel, you know, just to find out if the, um, you know, the kite system were something possible for the uh, maritime industry, then if the vertical wind turbines were a good solution, then we tested a lot of different uh, solar panels and batteries, and, you know, the biggest innovation was the hydrogen chain. So we take the seawater, we desalt it, we electrolyze it, we compress it, and then we have a fuel cell to uh, get the electricity out of the hydrogen. When there is no more sun or wind or whatever, we still have this big storage of energy in form of hydrogen. We strongly believe in the, in the mix of energies. How to uh, keep the energy when you've got too much of sun, too much wind, and, in, and you know that in the next five days, you will have not enough, you know? So the mix of energies, it's very important because it provides you some security in terms of uh, energy sources. And then the hydrogen allows you to store it on the long term. We've got one, one megawatt hour stored in pure electricity in hydrogen. We have 62 kilos of hydrogen storage. And we have um, 100 kilowatt uh, in forms of uh, lithium batteries. So all together with no wind, no sun, nothing, you can say that about six knots for six days. At the very beginning, everything was custom made. You know, the first fuel cell was a prototype. The electrolyzer is based on an um, electrolyzer designed for hospitals, and we just modified it. And we had to, you know, to adapt the desalinization. We had to invent all the compression uh, stages to have the best, most efficient system. But it was so expensive, so, you know, so custom made, that all the communities that we met around the world, you know, the fishermen, the passenger boats, the ship owners, they, all of them, they told us, okay, it's very nice, it's very interesting, but what can we do with it, you know? So we decided for two years now, you know, to, to just go in uh, downsizing in terms of cost. So we use more and more out of the shelf uh, commercial industrial components for the ocean wings, for the hydrogen. Now we use a Toyota fuel cell. We stop, you know, trying to get the best efficiency from every component. Now we just try to have something which runs smoothly, very high reliability, because now we need to convince the maritime communities. And that's not the same job as getting the most out of a system. When you see what has been the hydrogen activity for the last two years in Europe, you know, that in France it's 7 billion euros plan, in Germany it's 8 billion plans, in the US it is the same everywhere, you know, so they are investing massively. In about five years, you should have more than prototype. You should have some working cargo ships on hydrogen and electric with the hydrogen range extenders. Yeah. Now the purpose was first to showcase that it works, even in the worst conditions. And now the purpose is much wider. Now the purpose is to, is to be able to, to design affordable reliable systems and, and to offer them to the communities. Testing, destroying systems, components, solar panels, batteries, tanks and everything and rebuild and modify and uh, adapt and optimize and I mean it's just a big amount of experience to, to put all these systems in a very uh, corrosive uh, atmosphere. Thanks to all what we have done on this boat now, we are able to design very, very uh, competitive and very efficient systems for many, many applications. Thank you.